I'll read you a section. Hello, everybody. Today is amazing. We are making the Resurrect bass. Thick sustain bass that can go in all of your songs. This is going to be a sustain bass and also the chug bass that goes underneath it. I'm going to show you how I mixed it, how I designed it in Serum, and how we get down. This is the project, and I want you to listen to what we have so far. Uh, this full project will be in the Patreon. Yes, uh, that's it. That is what we have. Pretty heavy. I got pretty close to the original song. The original song sounds like this. And my, my, sick. All right. So now I'm going to show you how we actually made all this if you can please like comment and subscribe we're going to get into the bases first base we're going to get into is this damn sun which is the sustain <laughs> With his sustain bass, he actually had two different layers. This sustain with also a high pitch layer. And it's like a wobbly high pitch layer. I figured out how to make that. I'll show you how I made that. But first, do this one. This is going to be a pretty simple patch. This is going to be two sine waves. And then we're going to use this LFO to actually create the the sustain. If you look at the LFO, we're on half rate with the envelope on. This is causing the sustain to actually go. Make this shape. Get two sine waves, semitones plus 12 on the second oscillator. Turn it all the way down. Make sure FM from B is on. Turn on FM from B 45%. Make sure the level's all the way down on oscillator A. Turn it all the way up with the LFO. Add some noise, AC hum. Put the LFO up 15. Add the sub add this squared sign and then we're going to put the lfo all the way up on the level add a high notch 12 we're going to add movement with this with this cutoff so put the cutoff at 82 add the lfo turn it up 25 put the frequency knob at 21 percent, and then put it up 17 and put the resonance on 63. that's going to be the basis of the actual patch there then we're going to add some effects. So we're going to add width using this. Hyper's all the way down, but the dimension is on at 33%. Size is at 34. Distortion. To add the yoy, it's because of this down sample. So this is turned off, then turned on. That's going to add a lot of tonal qualities, a lot of vocal -y qualities. Put it on down sample distortion, drives at 58%. Each percentage will make a different tone in distortion if you want to play around and make new sustains right here. Next, you add the filter, put the reverb filter on. Cutoff is at 139. This is going to add a really cool tone. Listen off, on, really putting it in its own space, adding a cool tone. Resonance is at 44%, drives at 22%. Damps at 73 and the pan is at 55%. Mixes all the way up. That's good. And then last thing, we're just adding multiband compression to add some volume. Gains at 16.2 decibels. And then that's going to give us the sustain. If you look at the actual clip, we're playing a D0. And the way it works is we have like this downbeat section right here. This is cut up into little sections, fast section, little chopped up section with the sub. So that's the downbeat. And then the sustain plays right after that. So you hear. 
Because the thing kind of starts right there, and then it goes full blast right here. And the, the way it's starting like that, it has a slow start because of this. So that's dope. So listen to the sustain with both high and regular layers. And listen to just solo. So now we're going to make this high pitch layer. And this is an important layer because it adds a lot of really cool effect to the actual sustain. So what you do is you make a new audio track to make a high pitch layer. We're going to resample. We're going to make sure that this is soloed, this is record, and then we're going to record that. So then you have your recording. Now when you have this recording, we want to make it high pitched. So we're going to open it, we're going to put the pitch all the way up, 48 tones. We can put it on texture mode or complex and start messing with it. And if you look at my original one, use complex on the original one to this, load it on complex, and then now this will be a high-pitched sustain. Really high-pitched, but what we need to do is we need to add effects to it to actually get it to where it needs to be. So when you have one of these sounds, high-pitched sound, we want to make it wobbly. And the way we do that is we add an auto pan, turn it all the way up, we want to put the phase all the way down, and then we want to put this synced up, put the rate 148. Now you got a wobbling. So this is wobbling. You can even slow it down if you want. You know what I'm saying? Now we got a nice wobble. We're going to use an EQ to start carving out some frequencies like that. And then we're just going to add the Convolver Gun. Turn that down a little bit. We're just going to add some reverb to that. That's all you have to do to make that extra layer, which is what I did right here. I'll delete that. Now you see this second layer will fit perfectly with this layer. They're the same sounds, basically. Just one is two octaves higher, and it's wobbly. <laughs> So it's nice to layer to get nice sustains. You can check out the drums. It's just a simple kick, clap. Side chain's going. The sub. This sub is just playing quarter notes, D0. Little bit of space at the end just to give it a little nice cut off. This one is just up an octave to give it that. Mm. We even pitch down a little bit right there, too. So while all that's playing, we have the chug next, which is this sound. That's in a layer. Perfect. First, I just want to show you the post processing. Uh, for the sustain bass, so if you look, it has an easy clean rack, which is just reduce ambience, OTT, Camel Crusher, the Ray Volpe signature, and then EQ8, just taking a little bit of highs and taking out these lows. Very minimal processing. All right, now we'll get to the quarter note chug. Or the eighth note chug. Actually, so what we did here is we made half note rate and we want to make the actual chug sound different on each movement. So it goes full intensity, and then it goes like half intensity. And it kind of changes the sound, so it sounds like up, down, up, down. Look at the LFO, it's on the level all the way up. FM from B is 82%. We have Baboon 3, which is, I believe, from a live 10 wavetable. Can't find exactly where I've got this wavetable, but it will be in my Patreon if you need this. All of this will be in the Patreon. If you look here, though, the main thing about this space is that it's wide. So the sustain is like more mono, and then this is going to be wide in the left and right. So we use the unison, 9 and 7, to actually make the bass wide. While it's playing, this LFO is on the cutoff at 99, going up 9. 
Resonance 66, drive is at 18, frequency is at 69, and we're putting the LFO on it. We're going down negative 16. This is adding movement. Amber wavetable is from Live 10 collection. Subs on, levels all the way up on the sub, and the sync is turned all the way up as well. Sync no window. We add the compressor, make it loud, gains at 18.6, multibands turned on, add some distortion, diode 2, drive is going up 70 with the LFO. Filter is the flange L6 plus, cutoff is at 22 hertz, resonance all the way down, but the LFO is on the resonance going up 56. Mix is at 50% there. And then we have the phaser, which is adding a different tone to this. So before, after. Giving it like a deeper tone uh, with the depth at 27%, frequency at 34 hertz, feed 42%, rates at 0 0.06, phase is at 180. Nice. So then, what we do after that is we just add some post processing. This is the Dripment Loud Rack, number one. It's a gate to fix the OTT. We add uh, the OTT tails, I should say. Then we have the OTT after output six time a thousand, another saturator, then OTT, then another saturator. Just add volume. Use the EQ to give it some more volume. Glue compressor, same thing. JST clip, clip it at zero at the end. And then we cut out all the bass so that we can leave room for the sub. Those are the basic layers. All of them sound like this. With the sub. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the Resurrect Bane bass, and we have a chop bass included. Get the full project in my Patreon. Get the racks as well, and hit me up if you have any questions or if you want new videos. I'm always here. You guys have a good night. Stay fresh and peace out. Still can't believe it's not Booger.